Hey, Glad Glad back. Back. hey, welcome, welcome to the Vanguard. Oh, we, go, we a little bit far away. We good though. Hey, Landback, welcome. Come into the room. This is the Vanguard with what chapter are we? Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> we the Chicago chapter of the Black Hammer Organization. Land back, everybody. It's another Revolutionary Monday, which means a lot of work still done by all the chapters and organization, either wrapping up some outreach, you know, in Nigeria or doing some morning train outreaches in Atlanta, Chicago. So it's just another Revolutionary Monday here. We uh, look like we're drinking something fancy, but, you know, we... It's just, it's, just, Dr. It's, just, it's just pop, you know, I have to get, I have to get them used to saying pop. <laughs> I'm telling you, they say pop more than me. Um, and they say it harder. They always just the ah, they're like, ah. Yeah. And I'm like, it's I was like, it's not that serious. These two, these two. I like you don't do it too. Not not to the ah. Not the ah. Oh, you tried that. No. It's because you don't get it right. No, because I just say soda. <laughs> East Coast. Yeah, so they be trying to say soda, but I tell them it's pop. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so yeah, we are here for the Vanguard. This is your Revolutionary Monday weekly episode of getting to know what's going on in the world and with that anti-colonial spin, right? Because, you know, we got a lot of news and there's a lot of news people watch, but sometimes we got to contextualize it, put it into uh, a picture that makes it clear for what's really going on in the world, right? Um, and so, yeah, there's been a lot of news going on this past week. But first, before we get into things, make sure you are liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that, and make sure you're turning on your notifications as well. The notifications, little bell on the YouTube, you're on Black Amber TV, all right? So make sure that you're subscribing. This is where you get all Black Hammer uh, anti-colonial content 24-7. Uh, how many times should people share uh, Watson comment? However old you are. However old, <laughs> however old you are. Minimum, that's a good that's Minimum. minimum. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to share uh, 72 times. <laughs> um, I thought I was 75. Oh, oh no, thank 75 you. and like relatively soon. So, no, yeah. I'm 72 going on 75. Secrets <laughs> out. I'm old as hell. Oh. Wait, but you also said that I'm older. So. You're, oh, oh. So true. So you're like 90 now. Ooh. <laughs> okay, dang. I need to join a lot more Facebook groups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Just definitely share, y'all. Share your age and or double your age. All right. Uh, tweet it out. Facebook it out. Gab it out all the things that you got, all right? And if this is your first time here, then yeah, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification so you know when we are next time, all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and mm -hmm. someone's asking about what is on our plate. So this is a, oh. once again, what the comments What's on our plate? What is oh, it? Oh, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Actually, you cooked last time, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what you mean? <laughs> um, they're just so fixed. Not just sopes. So they, okay. they said it's just sopes. It's not just sopes, which I only learned about this year. Um, they um, some bomb ass sopes. Uh -huh. All right. They look good. They're like these things you can pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, like, look, you, know, you can pick them up. Yeah, you can pick them up. It's not like you need a fucking like these are portable. You yeah. um, they have. It's made out of um, the corn masa, right? The masa seca and. Uh, it has pinto beans, mm -hmm. yeah, refried, pin beans. refried pinto beans, some uh, carne asada, mm -hmm. some cilantro and onion, mm -hmm. and the homemade salsa. Mm -hmm. What's the made a homemade salsa? This ain't no mm -hmm. case Tostitos house. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's what some people think salsa is. Oh, yeah. You know. I also made the sopa is handmade. So oh yes, and the soap is the actual <laughs> the actual <laughs> vessel for yeah, this is homemade. Five hours, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, yeah. burning in their hands as they try to mold, as they mold it. Yep, yeah, pretty long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we appreciate you so much. We appreciate. It. I can't wait to taste them. I've been mm -hmm. waiting for this and this whole time. But you yeah. know, before before we, I start eating, y'all, because you can. Oh yeah, I was about to say, do I have to keep waiting? <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, while you while you try it, I'm gonna tell the people to donate. All right. So if you want to support the Chicago chapter, we've been giving out masks all throughout this pandemic here and we've been on the trains every week reaching the people with food for breakfast as well as 
mask, K95 mask, which are the we were giving out the black ones, which people appreciate. They, they the people are like, oh, it's black. That, that, that's happened so often that like that we got choosing a stylish color. But yes, that's what we've been doing. We're doing that. And we're trying to also prepare for winter. So we know winter in Chicago ain't no joke. Um, we got like polar vortexes that make it negative 40 with the wind chill, right? <laughs> um, uh, which doesn't happen too often, but that's but that if that's extreme cold, um, negative two is common cold here. And so and that's just the temperature, the wind chill like negative 20. And so we're trying to prepare for the winter as well. So you know, we're really going to be pushing uh, getting these winter coats these socks, these gloves, these hats, things that people need, especially houses people need, because this winter kills people every year, every, every year, and not just in Chicago, but all over the country, right? And so we want to make sure that, you know, our people are protected here in Chicago, so donate. The cash app is hashtag Black Hammer Shy, all right? Um, and yeah, our goal is $500, so definitely give what you can. You know, we want to really make sure that yeah, we doing the thing here. Mm -hmm. Oh, how is it? It's really good. It's really good? It's so good. It's so good. No, we'll introduce ourselves so you can compete. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's introduce ourselves. Yeah, go ahead. Um, go, I'm going on that end so I can mm -hmm. go. Oh, okay. 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 You good? <laughs> well, I'm back, yo. Uh, my name is Chipa Tatame. I represent the um, Toca Nominarica people of um, Abia Yaba specifically colonized Mexico. Um, I am of the poor working class. Um, I use they and pronouns, and um, I am the ch chief of staff of the Ministry of People's Affairs. I'm back. I am back. Um, my name is Ren. I represent uh, Panama and Colombia, um, and I have a petty boo background, um, but, you know, committing class suicide and all that. Um, and I uh, use they and she pronouns. And yeah, I'm the Minister of People's Affairs where we you know, do a lot of work on the ground, making sure that people have food, have, uh, you know, doing winter clothing, drives, things like that, um, preparing people for any natural events that are happening and um, staying on top of COVID. So yeah, hey. Hey. land back. Land back. Um, I'm Oju, repping the nations of Africa and Borican. Uh, come from working class with some petty boo fries, for sure. Um, and uh, I am uh, using he, him pronouns, and I am the chief of agitation propaganda here at Black Hammer. So if you like to do a show, if you like to watch the news, if you like music, art, that is where you can get your point across all through agitation propaganda. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm back, y'all. Uh, I'm Chief G, uh, representing the colonized people of Mexico. Uh, come from the working class with a lot of pretty good aspirations. Um, and yeah, I'm the chief of IT, pronouns day then. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be here talking to y'all. Yes, you know, you, you know the computer people gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta be secreted, right? You know? But G8 earlier. Yeah, G8. Oh yeah, G8, yeah, we, we ain't holding food back. <laughs> they do not be <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, I want to thank. Yeah, um, someone did ask that. Like, so, someone asked. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hi. what did you do wrong? <laughs> What's your plan? <laughs> your yeah. uh, QC, I want to thank you for them $10. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We got uh, $20 from Red, too. So, appreciate that. Yeah, shout out, y'all. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Keep donating. To donate to G's Food Fund. <laughs> um, <laughs> <you know. laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah they they've been hungry for a while. And they need something, so <laughs> oh no no we feed we feed this one. Uh, but yes, no uh, this one only this one. We only eat when we do the Vanguard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> my big, my big yeah. <laughs> That's enough for like the whole week, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, again, yeah, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. We're gonna get into it. Get into our first topic and you know talk about what's going on and mm, we know what the big news today is so oh, yeah <laughs> let's get into it breaking news uh just breaking this hour politician diplomat four-star general colin powell 
has died of COVID-related complications. This news just breaking right now. Of course, Joey was a family friend. He has served uh, multiple presidents, both sides of the aisle, and was uh, incredibly accomplished on the world stage. Colin Powell dying now uh, of COVID-related complications. His family just uh, released a statement confirming this information. Yeah, and, and Colin Powell uh, had a, a dominant presence in American politics over the course of 30, 40 years. Uh, he first uh, was came onto the, the national stage uh, when he went to work uh, for Ronald Reagan, uh, later uh, for George H.W. Bush. Uh, he was an integral part of, of putting strategy together uh, for the first Gulf War uh, and uh, played a pivotal role. He soon after the first Gulf War, along with Norman Schwarzkopf and others who were seen as being the successful commanders of that very successful uh, effort uh, to take uh, to take Iraq out of Kuwait and, and to liberate Kuwait, uh, he mm -hmm. became a giant in the Republican Party and was actually uh, in 95 uh, and, and into 96. There are many people trying to persuade Colin Powell to run for president against Bill Clinton. Right. He chose not to do that, uh, but did once again get into the administration, uh, get into the White House in 2001, uh, working as Secretary of State for George W. Bush. And according to a post on Facebook, Mika, uh, the, 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 the Powell family uh, broke the news this morning. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise, Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Cheers. Finally. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Cheers. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna get up no, the no, 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 Yeah, no. Colin Powell, rest in peace, finally dead. <laughs> there, the, the, I remember growing up, and not one single person in the hood said, I want to be Colin Powell when I grow up. Because Colin Powell was just through and through represented everything that was the opposite of our people and our experience, right? And mm -hmm. the opposite of everything that we needed. He was literally the epi like the epitome before Barack Obama came to the scene mm -hmm. of, of just the neo-colonial setup just through and through um yeah uh just was responsible for the deaths of millions around the world right um and didn't bat an eye he, he just was comfortable there's nothing he never looked like he was phased by anything um and it's just and just yeah just sick and of course white people are like you know are here to hold him up and praise him in his death right uh and that's just one aspect of it. The other thing is that he had uh, what we're going to call uh, Rhoda, mm -hmm. to put a D in it, um, Rhoda, and was fully um, vacuumed. You yeah. know? <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he was fully vacuumed and with, with the Rhoda. And, <laughs> the the and vacuum was supposed to protect and ruin the Rhoda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That'll be yeah. This is up. But for real, he like is that interesting too? So, mm, so not only uh, did he finally pass, and you know, rest in peace to him, but uh, he died from the rota. It was really, being it was really interesting how they made sure that we knew that he had had both. Yes. Both of the vacuums or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it was very solidified, like fully vacuumed and still died. <laughs> and it's like, damn, if only one so if only someone could have told him. Yeah. If only someone could have told him. Mm -hmm. Like it's so crazy. Would he have listened though? Probably. No, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, during that whole clip, it, like, oh, all of these accomplishments, I just like it's literally just sell out, sell out, sell out, right? Like mm -hmm. boot after boot after boot <laughs> that this that this mofo was kissing. And at the like for what to still to still die from like this country's own negligence like that's just beautiful it's so yeah. boring <laughs> it's just like Mwah. like it's just it's so amazing because it, I mean like you serve this country and they still didn't tell you to wear a K95 mask like that's hilarious mm -hmm. <laughs> that like, that's just yeah anyway yeah. yeah for real no for real he got a taste of America's own medicine of his own medicine that. He built and put into, you know, because yeah, exactly. Like this country was so incompetent in the first place, and then he built into that incompetence 
And then it got him in the end, you know? And so, yeah, uh, G, what you thinking about calling Pal? Yeah, I, <laughs> um, yeah, like, I, I like what you were saying about the comment, because, like, um, it's really funny, like, how all these, um, how, like, the, the colony tries to, uh, I don't know, validate these vacuums um, <laughs> by saying that, like, they, they can vacuum their own people, you know, they can vacuum their own people in power and all that. Like Trump, all these people around, right? they're like, oh, that's how you know it is a good one. But then they die like this. And it, it's just really funny because it's just another another sign that the colony is crumbling, right? And another sign that that we need to use this opportunity, right, as um, to like really uh, teach our people the, the truth and, and that they have the power to, um, you know, really overthrow all of this BS like, and really build something that can actually protect everyone's lives, right? Um, especially, like, um, our, like, older colonized folk, you know? Like, they're really the ones that have been, like, going through it. And, like, um, it, it's just wild, like, how the colony just makes everyone be so reckless and has made everyone be so reckless since the beginning that, like, um, like so many grandparents, so many parents have passed away because of this. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. Yeah. Glad this is my that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, and they wanna, you know, they wanna use his age as a reason for us to be sad. They always do that, right? Yeah. Like John McCain was old. Yeah. Like, therefore we must be sad. <laughs> Colin Powell was old, therefore we must be sad. No, they're old monsters. Yeah. Like we don't have to be sad. We could say good riddance, goodbye. If there's no reason we have to mourn whatsoever. The people who deserve to mourn are the families of those that Colin Powell killed in Iraq, in Kuwait, in Vietnam, right? Those are the people who should be allowed to mourn. We don't have to do nothing for him. And um, they always want to use that age. And like, who else we should be mourning? Just like you said, G, are the grandparents that we've lost, right? Mm -hmm. And the older relatives and all the relatives that we've lost throughout this pandemic that um, Colin Powell didn't serve and none of them serve because they don't serve nobody but themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, what you thinking, man? Yeah, no, I think, I mean, honestly, I didn't really know too much about him before, like, hearing this news, but, like, what you were saying, G, like, there's so much, there's so, like, they've pushed so much, like, how these people, oh, like, we have so-and-so getting vaccinated on, or, yeah, vacuumed on, um, you know, um, on live TV, right, like, and it's like, oh, here, like, like here's proof, but, First of all, if you ever like pay attention, the amount in the actual syringe is always different. Um, so that's interesting. Um, but also like the, yeah, like they show them doing that, right? And then they're like, oh yeah, you should get it too. Um, and then, you know, we don't hear about them getting sick afterwards or like how they feel afterwards or anything like that. It's just like, oh, get it too. And that's it. Like you don't hear anything else afterwards. So. I don't know. I think it's really weird that like they keep, you know, not just weird. I think it's really strategic that they keep pushing that, right? Like that they are like, you know, you should keep doing this because other people, other famous people that you look up to um, are doing it. So yeah, that's why, I mean, that's why like we're doing the March on the CDC, like, you know, telling nice. people that it's okay to question this, like, you know, that this thing, yeah, like th these mandates, they're ridiculous. Um, you know, people are, quitting um, left and right or getting fired left and right, one or the other. Um, and, you know, they don't, you know, I think they're, cause they're choosing their body, right? Like they're choosing the power that they have over their body over, you know, um, some job that, you know, they can get somewhere else. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And people, people are down about it. Like when we do the, the Friday Friday here in Chicago, like people are down, they are, they are supporting us. They are supporting us. Tons of Congress people supporting us. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's supporting us, right? The literal building, per, like, we, or the building we stand in front of, like, the worker out inside, I was like, the yeah. name was like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, 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 I after hours, you know, was like cleaning was like, <laughs> like giving us the thumbs up, like super cute. Um, and yeah, I think like these protests are so powerful. Um, we recently just started here in Chicago and week two, and there was already like five pigs waiting 
at the location. <laughs> <laughs> like week two, y'all. Like it's it's so crazy. Um, but like like Chief Oju said, like our people are on our are on our side, right? Um, because it's just material. Like our people know, even if they don't have the words, that this system is untrustworthy. Um, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like I what Tiger said, like Powell may be dead, but the system that made him remains. We got work to do, right? We do got work to do um, to like undo the system that Cold Powell set up, right? And it's it's gonna get harder to take that down if we allow more and more of our people to sell out just like he did and fill in those spots, which is what this colony wants to do, is trying to fill it up with as many of Kana's sellouts as possible so that it's just so much, that makes it that much harder for revolutionaries to do what they gotta do, right? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, make sure you are joining Black Camera. Make sure you join us for our protests every Friday, all right? Mm -hmm. And make sure that you, uh, yeah, are doing it all over the country. We doing these protests in Atlanta, the CDC, Chicago, New York, uh, Dallas, uh, LA, right? Uh, so you better be out there and join us on Friday's 5 p.m. your local time, all right? Uh, you know who's not going to be there? Colin Powell. <laughs> oh, he ain't going to be there. He ain't going to be there. Uh, for one reason or another, he ain't going to be there. <laughs> uh, lay it back. Not if I do. All right, uh, I'm going to make sure you're donating. I'm choking out. Make sure you're donating to Cash App, Black Hammer Shy, um, our Cash App. So uh, make sure you are supporting us getting masks and clothes <clears throat> for the winter. Yeah, and we're also, you know, like that's one way to support the work that we do, right? Like we're educating people every day. We're, we're getting the word out every day that it's okay to be questioning this. Um, and that, there's an alternative. Like this uh, vacuum isn't gonna do what you think it's gonna do and even if you do get it like that's your choice you know but having that um you know be um yeah be forced onto other people right is not should not should not happen so um by donating you're helping us make sure that we are able to you know continue to support the people in a material way with the, these masks and continue to be able to like you know educate them on this so yeah yeah, yeah. Well, i see um Hi, Senegal got 15. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, I see the uh, CIC. And that's how cheesy this too, cauliflower pal. I ain't heard that one yet. I have not heard that one yet. No, I like that. Cauliflower pal. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, that's really oh, that, yeah, that was from uh, the video earlier. Oh. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. She called you really quick. What did you think of the food? What I think of the food is delicious. I'm pacing myself because I don't want to choke like I just did. <laughs> um, so no, it's delicious, y'all. Guatacame salsa is good. It's so it's good. It's so good. Yeah. They make such good salsa. It's ridiculous. Just spicy for her to surrender. Huh? I'm, 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 I
17 people, including children, snatched by gangs on their way home from an orphanage yesterday. The Washington Post reported one of the kidnapped messaged for help in a WhatsApp group. NBC News has not seen or verified this message. We've reached out to the Christian Aid Ministries and haven't heard back. The abduction happening here in Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti. Already the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, Haiti has been plunging into ever deeper chaos. Thousands fleeing their homes in recent months and seeking safety at the U.S. southern border. In July, the country's president, Jovenel Moise, was assassinated in his home. Two Americans and 15 Colombians arrested as part of the murder plot. With the government divided and the economy cratering, much of Port-au-Prince has fallen to armed gangs who outgun and outfight police. Okay. Let's see your comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, talk about um, a reversal, right? Mm -hmm. um, I guess, you know, America, New York wants to talk about kidnapping now. Mm -hmm. We can talk about kidnapping. Mm -hmm. They want to talk about kidnapping. Yeah. Um, and kidnapping children, right? They're like, even children. So what's going on? Yeah, as you just saw in Haiti, some, um, you know, missionaries, some, you know, some you know male missionaries uh, who were in Haiti, uh, who the uh, news is trying to say were there for good reasons, but we all know missionaries come to kidnap our kids instead. Um, got kidnapped themselves. Oops. Oops. Uh, and and uh, you know they have all these details, right, of how many people did it, um, and um, you know like who these people are. But clearly they don't because they ain't find them yet. So I don't know. So what do you think about this? Uh, about the comment? Oh, here's the thing. I am so happy. <laughs> um, I just love seeing colonized people take their power back. You know, and that's like that's all this is. Like missionaries are have been the same colonizer from the beginning. Like when when the Europeans came over here, the church came with them, right? And that doesn't mean we're against religion or anything. We're against colonialism. Period. In any way that it looks. Um, including the people who use faith to like excuse their violence and excuse their bigotry and excuse their disgusting behavior on um, colonized people, right? Like they use faith to excuse that. And that in itself is disgusting to me. Mm -hmm. um, because anyway, that's a whole different conversation. But when we see colonized people, like especially in Haiti, right? Like after their president um, passed away, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, like it's been the same story that we that we're gonna keep seeing, right? We saw it in Bolivia, um, Peru's coming up, Chile's coming up. But that, like all of these countries in Pachamama are rising up, um, and that's literally just the crumb the crumbling empire, like we've been saying, right? And it's happening all over the country, all over the world. Um, and I love it. I love to see it. It makes me very happy. Um, I'm excited to see what uh, movie the Christians are going to make about this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited That's to fine. see it. Like, um, movie chat. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to make a movie, aren't they? They yeah, absolutely are going to make a movie. The one sole survivor is going to like make a whole career out of this. Like, whoever it is, right? Like, it just, anyways. Yeah, Forrest um, Whitaker is going to play. The main kidnapper, the head kidnapper, or something. <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a whole it's thing. Gonna, it's gonna be a whole thing. Like, obviously, uh, we do wish the best for the children, obviously, but like, it's their own people, right? It's colonized people taking their children back. Um, like, man, we raise our kids in community, right? And, um, like, it, it just, I don't know. Mm. I can't wait till we get all of our kids back. Yeah, yeah so. That's all. Yeah, and, and like our kids, our kids who are with us back, and our kids who aren't with us back. That's the like one thing about you speak like when you know, you know, people from Europe and America uh, are talking about kidnapping. Is that like not only do we have to find our kids after they've been kidnapped when they're alive, we have to find them after they're gone too. Like I think of the indigenous children uh, in you know Canada up there who were just like discovered, you know, where all these residential schools mm -hmm. were. I think of like the two. Um, African um, children from Mu, who like they just found like them in a New Jersey like museum or the school, right? Um, in university, um, being studied. It's just like it's just that like they always want to 
um, make it seem like this dire situation, this dire situation that like, oh my God, like the lack of humanity, the horror. I'm like, th like that's barely anything. That just scratches the surface of horror compared to what y'all have done to our children and, what and to our what people. What they continue to do. You know, what yeah. they continue yeah. to do, yeah. exactly. Like it, it hasn't stopped, right? Like, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was an educator and I worked with a lot of like, quote unquote, at risk youth, which, mm -hmm. is, which is what they call poor working class colonized children. <laughs> um, and like to like seeing firsthand what the system does to our children, right? Like it, they continue to steal them, they continue to to abuse them, yes. and we're supposed to be sad when the abusers get got. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not the one. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one. Yeah, um, what are you thinking, Rain? I'm just thinking about. Well, there's two things to think about. There's one. Um, there's a um, there's a page that I follow that is basically like like against like it calls out all these like white people and like all the, the stuff that they do mm -hmm. um and they expose how this woman like missionary nurse like no had no qualifications was helping helping murdering colonized kids in africa mm -hmm. um because you know he she was like oh like you know like not waiting for like the doctors or any anybody to like or calling really asking for help um, when like children were coming in and like they create like a whole like lawsuit case and stuff against this woman um, and that you know that was just that there, it's still going like the lot the suitcase the lawsuit is still going so um, and it also makes me think about um, one of the last times I went to Panama like you know we went and um, we were visiting like um, different um, indigenous communities in like um, in Panama and everything and one of them had a like you know all their all their houses and stuff were um, indigenous looking and built and right, right. And then um, there was a one building that was like just just brick and like looked like it came from the city. Like you could have picked it up and put it right smack in the middle of this um, forest. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, what's that? And they were like, oh, that's where, um, you know, um, people from the city come and teach us like how to speak Spanish. And like they teach us about their religion wow. and like all these things. And I was like, oh, like how long has that been going on? And they were like, oh, since I was little. And this person was like my age um and um yeah i was just like and because i kept on like asked like just asking like random questions and it just seemed to always link back to this part like to this whatever organization or the, yeah. these missionaries that were coming and they were teaching the kids like how to speak you know spanish like uh, like the language outside of their community but then the kids wouldn't remember their own language the kids wouldn't remember yeah. their own like practices their own religious religious practices and it was just it was heartbreaking because like, you know, they're literally losing their culture, like, you know, over time, like a whole generation is like forgetting it. Um, so yeah, missionaries don't do anything. They don't do, they don't, they, they, they say that they're trying to help, but they're really just trying to get what they want, would feel better about themselves. I feel like it's about like, it all traces back to white guilt, like honestly to me, like, it's just like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing better than my ancestors, so let me try to do this. Right? Yeah, they do the same thing. Yeah, they do the same thing. Like, oh, by, by doing this, I'll go to heaven. Like, I'm running from the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Colin Powell probably thought the same thing. I'm yeah. Colin like, I'm going to heaven. I'm doing something good. Missionaries thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. They all going to the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Acorn, that part, it's a business. This whole, like, yeah. all the missions, like, yeah. I, I think of like the Mormon church, the Catholic church, like they got mm -hmm. so much bank mm -hmm. and they make bank off of like colonized people, <laughs> of like, off of like stealing colonized people mm -hmm. and bringing them into like out of their like indigenous countries and into the colonies. And it's just, it's so infuriating. I, I've been dealing with them my whole life. Like even when I still like live back in Mexico, like I, I don't even know how many like white people was just like, knock on the doors, walk around the hoods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's ridiculous. And um what you were saying when the um what's it called? Uh that yeah like you, you were saying oh yeah like they're trying to use like their white guild but like yeah like it's they they've been doing this for centuries, right? And in the colony, especially like right now, right, that it's at a point where it has so much power, like it tries to do it like more low key, right? It doesn't like straight mm -hmm. up like murder kids anymore. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like it's still it's still taking these kids and putting them into a place where like they're gonna get like abused and murdered and yeah. all these things, right? So it's the exact same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um 
And uh, another thing that I, that I was thinking of is like the whole the whole concept of like missions, right? It's it's ridiculous. Like it's also a complete in violation of our uh, principles, of, you know, our second principle, of unity, right? Because yes. we we we're never gonna live in a in a good society um, where no one looks like at the expense of another if people are pushing religions onto someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, just let pe like indigenous people do their own thing, you know? Like, just let let us do our own thing. Let let us believe what we need to believe, because um, yes. that that's how we really are our um, all of ourselves, right? Like. Pushing, pushing at, like all these religions onto other people, and uh, and and they, they don't even just push the religion; they push like all of their like colonial ideals, like about capitalism and mm -hmm. colonialism in general, um, and just really like steals our people out of the humanity, and it's it's really infuriating. Yeah, but we we work into it to overturn that. Though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're overturning it by like politically educating our people and serving our people and being with them because. Well, what missionaries do is they turn colonized people into neo-colonial sellouts, mm -hmm. right? That's like their their main jobs, like to begin that process, like taking the taking the not colonized person yet, right, and then turning them into a colonized person, yeah, right. Like that's like their job is to create <laughs> colonized people, yeah. And so you know, more power to the people of Haiti who are stopping the process of colonialism mm -hmm. and doing what they got to do um, to make sure that the, their people have dictatorship over their lives, mm -hmm. right? Um, and which Haiti is done forever. Yeah. Haiti is an expert. It is the expert at that, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and even on top of that, like, I feel like half the time missionaries don't even ask like for permission. Like they're just they like they know. will just continue to like berate people. Yeah. Like, and I feel like even um, I, I forget what country it was, but there was a country like a few years ago that um, these like missionaries kept on trying and trying to go to this island. There was an indigenous island. Like they, the island told like the leaders of the island were like no like you no one could come here except for us like this is ours like do not come here if you do bad things will happen they um, made a movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> they called the missionary did they really yeah. oh my goodness <laughs> wow okay well yeah and then you know you know basically missionaries have like tried to go and like they were being pushy and whatnot and bad things happened to the missionaries and it's like well you were warned like and it doesn't like it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Like, are you are you all like just not listening? Like, you all just not care? Um, so yeah, it's just it's literally is just colonization. And then I think it's our people that need to be educated. Mm -hmm. Like they're like, oh, I'm gonna go teach them how to yeah. civilize. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, but have they not been there for generations and generations? Who we'll taught you how to farm? Yeah. So, yeah, our people, our people are the experts. We don't need no person coming in telling us what our lives gotta be. All right. Mm -hmm. So yes. Uh, so we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, make sure again that you are donating to Cash App, Cash Tag Black Camera Shine. Uh, goal still five hundred dollars. Thank you for everyone who has donated so far. We are very appreciative of it. Like we said, we are raising money for K95 masks, winter clothes, food, especially as we go into this winter. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and, and making sure that we're serving the colonized people of Chicago, which is a lot of colonized people. Uh -huh. um, yeah. <laughs> for some, some people here, they're like, oh, this is a lot mm -hmm. um, <laughs> compared, compared to other places. But yeah, no, but it, it's a beautiful thing because we have more people to serve and more people to, mm -hmm. to talk to. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? I'm a leech. Oh, You know what my theory is? You know what my theory is? 
that Bill Clinton and Colin Powell were at the same party. Oh, <laughs> that's my theory. My theory is that they were at the same party or event, and mm, you know, Colin Powell they could they could talk about, it. but mm, I don't know. They didn't gonna say Bill Clinton got Rhoda. So mm, I don't know, but at the same time, maybe he did just have a UTI, you know. Even that just is really funny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bill Clinton with a UTI makes sense, right? I mean, you know, yeah. it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Hillary, no, uh, <laughs> but um, yes. So apparently, yeah, Bill Clinton got a UTI. Uh, the infection got bigger and bigger, and uh, they um, said it so casually. Um, he got sepsis. That's not a casual yeah, um, thing. Like, um, so, sometimes known as sepsis. Sometimes known as sepsis. <laughs> it's like, um, excuse me. Yeah, like it's like like a cold or a flu. No, sepsis <laughs> is literally the shutting down of all your organs due to an infection. So they didn't want to say that Bill Clinton literally almost just died. But yeah, Bill Clinton almost just died. I, I just love this this. <laughs> was must have been in so much pain for so long and said nothing. Yeah. But home is like seven days of antibiotics and you're good. <laughs> like this homie was like dying every time he had to pee. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I was like <laughs> saying nothing. And I just love that. I love I just love it because the just the so much pain mm -hmm. that comes with UTIs and for him to say nothing out of like pride mm -hmm. and then to almost die is so funny. Um I only wish could have been grouped with the first story. Mm -hmm. so that's the only thing. Maybe it will soon. I know my next yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you what you oh, do you I was just gonna, gonna say <laughs> I was like, I turned to G because I thought G was going. Go ahead. I just really, comment? no, I really like what um what um Tiger said about the curse of uh, Monica Lewinsky. Oh, it is, it is falling upon Bill Clinton. Yes, I'm like yeah, a hundred percent. Yes, uh, let 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 a spirit in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Monica clearly let a spirit in at that time. Of Either that, or maybe it's a collab between her and um. and Hillary. They're like, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm done. That'd be a long term. <laughs> That is the long con. Yeah, forget, forget, yeah. forget Hillary's emails. It's the UTI scandal. All right. Yeah, no, for real. But yeah, no, it's it, Mark Lewinsky probably did. Y'all probably too young for Mark Lewinsky. No, I remember. You remember? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm old. Um, but yeah, uh, it, you know, Bill Clinton again, just like Colin Powell, but just not a neo-colonial style. Just a colonial monster, right? Yeah. Just was responsible for incarcerating countless, countless, <laughs> countless colonized people, right? Over the 1990s, uh, basically got the idea that super predator put on our children, right? That our children are dangerous, uh -huh. um, that our children are ready to kill. And again, <laughs> that, that sweet, sweet karma mm -hmm. of a UTI giving you sepsis, though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, after you had like quadruple bypasses, but we, oh, yeah. 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 So we, you know, they give these um, U.S. former presidents like the craziest healthcare because Jimmy Carter's still alive. But um, but yeah, G, what what you think about the UTI? Um, yeah, I, I'm just like I, I I hope it comes back. You know, like I, I'm just a little disappointed. I, I was like, oh, it, it would have been like the perfect ending for this. Uh, <laughs> MF. Um, <laughs> Like, they, yeah, all these, like, U.S. presidents deserve the worst D words, you know? To die um, with UTI is pretty, yeah, pretty up there. It, 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 it would have been really funny. It would have been really funny. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, the Clintons are messy. Like, I, this, like, Bill Clinton probably, like, like, CIC said, like, he probably got in some, like, island from Epstein or some shit like mm -hmm. that. Because, like... Yeah, they they be all, all the like big politician couples like are very interesting like to me. They, they're so messy. They probably got so many STDs, and they're probably gonna die from one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and call it something else. Yeah, and with all the healthcare, get tested. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's real. what's that one? Um, like British politician that looks like literally almost dead. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> the, it it was, I think I think it's the king or whatever. The that, like, or something. The oh, Prince Charles. Just, just like, did, did you die already? No. <laughs> that, the alligator did? That one did. Oh, okay. His son. 
they all look the same. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, but th- there's this, I remember like there's this one meme of this like British politician framed as a kid. Like, he's the like really old dead. one, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one that did that. That was Prince Philip. He, he just died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did that. Yeah, Prince Philip. Yeah. I, I feel like that's how all these US friends are gonna be, and it's so annoying because like our people are out there dying, like no healthcare, not even like access to basic things, not even basic meds, and. Uh, these galletas, you know what I mean? Like, they be living for so long for no reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no the, reason. the reason is because they keep them alive. You know, sure. they have yeah. to keep them alive. Like, Jimmy Carter is basically half from all the hive. Right I now. did not know he was still alive. I yeah, didn't know he was still alive yet. Yeah. yeah, he'd still be going to, like, presidential events and inaugurations with his wife. His wife is still alive, too. Yeah. <laughs> they, probably, yeah, they, they got like a, a like an incubator for them to keep them alive. Uh-huh. Well, but, they yeah. sleep. They sleep in the coffin just in case they don't wake up. Mm-hmm. They're anxiety like me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the, yeah, this um, this clip the UTI is wild, y'all. It's like you you saw like um, Hillary Clinton waiting for Bill Clinton outside the hospital, you know, because they're trying to pass it off like he didn't just die, and then, like you know, but, but like, also, like if it's not whatever, like you guys happen, right? They happen. Does homie not drink water? Yeah. Like, <laughs> some cranberry juice. Yeah, some cranberry juice. juice. Yeah, like, did he not talk to his wife about it? Because I'm guessing his wife has probably experienced at least a few in her lifetime. Yeah. I feel like they like, don't talk about that. So true. They're mm-hmm. like, they don't, I, it just, how do you, like, if it, if it hurts when you pee, how do you not go to the doctor? Yeah. Like, especially with all of the access they have to everything. Like, it's just so funny. And beyond mm-hmm. that, like, to get it to that point, it probably had like blood in the urine. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, so I got my soul fixed. So, <laughs> but you know that, like, there's a level, like, yeah. at that point, you're getting sepsis. Yeah, you're you're experiencing you, much you more than just a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. like mm-hmm. I don't know what you were. Maybe that's like maybe it's part of because he's like half alive from all the medication he's on, so he just didn't feel it. So he just didn't feel it, and he just was like, "Yeah, Yeah, (laughs) maybe I'm just getting old." That's all. A new thing I have to take care of. Yeah, for real. But um, I like also how they make sure to ensure that it wasn't Rhoda, right? They want to keep saying it wasn't Rhoda. It wasn't Rhoda. It wasn't Rhoda because they don't. They can't have someone with that status have Rhoda because, of course, at this point they're all fully vacuumed, right? And they said it 10,000 times. Mm -hmm. So someone that high status, nah, they're not going to let that happen, even if it does. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you know, but it would have been, again, like the CIC said, the perfect way for someone like that, someone that abusive and gross Mm -hmm. to go because it's just, it's again, that karma, that karma be hidden. Yeah, and it's crazy, too, because even, like, the amount of money that it takes to keep, like, one person alive that has had triple bypass surgery like you were saying g like that could have easily gone to so many more people people don't people avoid going to the hospital just you know for basic things because the hospital bill just getting an id in you will get you 500 dollars more in debt right like then that so to get triple bypass surgery with all like i don't know yeah. it just does not make sense one person's life is not worth that much, especially this person's. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, mm-hmm. we will be talking about him in the Vanguard soon. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hopefully, it may not have a, a, soon, a soon upcoming topic. <laughs> Let's uh, keep it going. Um, make sure again you are donating to Black Camera Shy, cash app, cash tag Black Camera Shy. You can also, I believe, we can, yes, Venmo Black Camera Shy too. Mm-hmm. So if you don't got cash up, you could donate to Venmo Black Camera Shy. Yeah, and yeah, this also helps us. Uh, another thing this helps us with is getting making sure that people get, um, you know, ginger and like herbs and things like that, especially with winter coming, especially with cases where they are in the city and everything. Um, we need to make sure that people's immune systems are up, right? Um, so, you know, make sure you're hitting that cash app, making sure that we get back on those kinds of resources out so that nobody got to avoid going to the hospital. They can, they, they'll be okay because mm-hmm. they got, their immune system is already up, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yes. Mm-hmm. Land back. Land back, land back. So, let's see. What, what's, what's our next topic? The world of bleach. Oh, yeah, I'm literally. Oh, this mofo. While Billy Porter has been pushing the boundaries of non-binary fashion on red carpets for some time now, the Pose actor decided to call out Vogue for their decision to put Harry Styles on their cover in a dress. 
In an interview with the Sunday Times, Billy explained how he feels he changed the whole game with his impeccable style. He said, I personally changed the whole game and that is not ego, that is just fact. I was the first one doing it and now everybody is doing it. After pointing this out, the Pose actor set his sights on Vogue for completely ignoring his stunning contributions to the fashion world. He said, I feel like the fashion industry has accepted me because they have to. I'm not necessarily convinced and here is why. I created the conversation and yet Vogue still put Harry Styles, a straight white man, in a dress on their cover for the first time. If you'll recall, Vogue made the decision to have Harry be their first ever solo male cover star back in December 2020. For the story, the Watermelon Sugar singer posed in a Gucci dress along with the headline, Harry Styles makes his own rules. Billy was quick to clarify, however, that his issues were not with Harry personally, but with Vogue and the fashion industry at large. He pointed out, I'm not dragging Harry Styles, but he is the one you're going to try and use to represent this new conversation? The actor continued expressing his thoughts and did not hold back. He said, Harry doesn't care. He's just doing it because it's the thing to do. This is politics for me. This is my life. I had to fight my entire life to get to the place where I could wear a dress to the Oscars and not be gunned down. All he has to do is be white and straight. <laughs> Woo! Billy Porter is pressed. <laughs> Billy Porter is pressed, y'all. So pressed. And nobody care but him. <laughs> for real, for real. Like, nobody, like, you know how hard it was to find a clip talking about this? <laughs> like, wow. I tried to find this um, annoying, um, annoying voice telling us about it. Ain't nobody talking about it because ain't nobody talking about him. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Billy Porter of, uh, you know, Pose fame, you know, he's winning awards now because, you know, they, they give out diversity awards at all the movie, movie award shows and TV shows. It's diversity time, right? The past five years. Moonlight kicked it off. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so, you know, Billy Porter is saying he's the first person to uh, be uh, male and wear a dress. I think, huh? I think that's what he was saying. Basically, he's the first person to wear a dress like, that's male. And he set this trend. Yeah, he said, yeah. And you set this trend that um, apparently no one was doing before him. I had to check. Um, he was born in 1969. So, <laughs> been around. So been around. That, yeah, and, 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 you know, it's it been around, but, you know, a lot of people have been around before 1969. Yeah. Um, wearing dresses. Wearing dresses and uh, <laughs> prints. <laughs> Other people. <laughs> um, so I'm just tired of it. Like, basically, he's just saying, how come... I'm not the one that you're propping up. How, white people, why don't you love me? Yeah. That's basically why he's saying. Thinking. Yeah, exactly. That's what it all is. That's what it always is because he's just basically trying to the, be you know, Max's favorite child, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot. I mean, I, I, I can't say it. Uh, G, what do, what do you think about this? Yeah, like but the hoods of New York City back in 1969 were more dressed than him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was uh, uh, what was happening? Sylvia Rivera, Marsha P. Johnson, uh -huh. all in 1969 too. Sorry, just yeah, keep going. no, like it, it's just it's just really funny. Like all these stuff, all they want is attention, money, and to kiss white ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, like it, like like I just said, like they, they just want to be the master's favorite child, and um, because what are they what are they doing for like for like the, the hoods that are still dealing with AIDS. What are they doing for the uh, for the queer people, for the for the gay men that, that wear dresses because because they they just can and they want to on the street because they don't because that's a real gender expression, not because they want to be some fashion star in like the fashion industry. Like they're not doing nothing. They all it's just for himself and it's all to reveal his own power, money, status, whatever the, yeah. the hell these people want or care about. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the same old story of, you know, um, and it's also interesting because um, because you, you, I've seen this conversation a lot, like in Twitter and all these things, like all like more normal college people talking about it, right? Yeah. But now you see a new colonial sellout uh, talking about it and like, I, I don't know, I feel like it, it's it's they're trying to like um, put the attention out of the people who are actually like um, you know affected by the whole Harry Styles thing yeah. and putting the attention onto some like fashion star that has all this money, right? When yeah. that's not the issue, right? The issue is that finance people have been expressing themselves like that for 
ever, <laughs> ever, since even before colonization, right? Yeah. Um, and and now like everyone is like kissing Harry Styles' ass because because he's dressing like. Even those pictures were. Do you see those, those pictures? pictures? Are horrible. Yeah. You see the yeah. like, he was like uh, blowing a balloon. It's, what it's, even was that? It's some hipster, you know, <laughs> white artsy crap. You know what I mean? I but uh, that's what Billy Porter is upset about. <laughs> enough, like being upset, even at that enough to be upset about that, like that. He, he just he just want to be on Vogue, and he can't <laughs> let it go. He just wants to be on Vogue and can't let it go because he wants to be the first in his mind to do it. Yeah. Huh, Billy um, Porter gets <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Uh, yeah, that whole yeah, Tiger said that whole cast of post is annoying as hell. They That's all sure. they all in their own ways doing the same thing in their own ways, all differently. But yeah, in their own ways. Um Ryan, what you thinking about this book before that? I don't know, man. When it comes to like celebrity news, I'm like, why why does this even matter? It's just uh, another tantrum. It's just another person like being like, Oh my god, like whatever. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just, I don't know, like when it comes to, especially Billy Porter, like, he, like, he's literally like that person that's like, oh, like I am, I am the queer, like the queer mm -hmm. representation of like black people. Right. And it's just, it's like, okay. And like, what, and, are, you, what are you doing? And, and, about and, and, and he's not. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And like, but like materially, like, what is he doing about it? Right. Like, and if, even if you were like. What are you doing to actually like actually help people, right? Like it doesn't. That your fame means nothing to Sick it, representation. Sick of it. Yeah, so so done. But and like on top of it, it's like what? Like I just I can't. I did, none of it makes sense materially. None of it makes sense to me because it's like what do you? What's what's the point? What's the point? Um, mm -hmm. of like this weird competition, like. No, like like you said, nobody cares about it except for him. Like, and the reason why he doesn't because other people got other things to worry about. Maybe getting like you know, actually gunned down. Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. Gunned down. <laughs> I, never heard, I never heard of anyone at all ever getting gunned down on a runway. Oh. If that's happened, please put it in the comments. Let me know. Because <laughs> Billy Porter made it sound like it's happened before. And I'm just confused. His version of getting out gunned down would be like the press, like being like having a negative reaction to yeah. him. That's mm -hmm. his version, and it's like, no, listen, like there's actual people who get mm -hmm. freaking gone down mm -hmm. all the time, and by accident, like they're not, you know what I mean? Like they're just like literally walking on the street because you know? they're in the hood, they're, and they're exactly. the actual poor working class colonized places mm -hmm. where, but he's in some hotel high rise, Ugh, whatever. Yeah. Walker uh, Carney, what you thinking? Um, yeah, there's a One Direction conversation happening in the comments. So you've been really distracted. <laughs> you know what? I was a child. Um, I did have a One Direction phase. You're no longer a child. Um, okay, that's why I said I had a phase. Um, Jesus, you, it has phase you know what? <laughs> you listen to Hillary Duff. So, Damn. so, <laughs> no. So, I mean, that's not what I was going to talk about. Not what I was going to talk about. Well, I agree, Zayn is the best one just because it's colonized. Oh, nice. That's it. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, the part that really stuck out to me was he was like, I've been fighting my whole life for this. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, really? for that, like, him and my dad were born around the same time. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, oh, my dad has been fighting his whole life to keep us alive, <laughs> to keep us fed, to keep us housed. Like, God, it's just so crazy. Like, this, this is it, right? And like, this really is everything you need to know about him. Mm -hmm. This is what he's been fighting for, for his moment to be on go, yes. for his moment for recognition. Mag and like, what is that gonna like? That's it. That's all I need to know about him. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's like, how? Not even to say. To inspire people. <laughs> like the same like fake ass line that everyone has, right? I want to inspire the next generation of whatever uh. to do what I'm doing. Like didn't even have the freaking consciousness to say that. Like yeah. to even lie about it. It was just like I want to be on Vogue, that's what I've been fighting for. <laughs> like <laughs> and it's like, okay, thanks, I guess. Like mm. for it's just the sellouts are just annoying and like that's that's all you need to know about him. Like that's mm -hmm. all I need to know about this. Mm -hmm. Um Again, I don't even think Harry Styles is really even part of this conversation. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Just, That's just like same old, same old. Yeah, it's a, it's a white man. I don't know what you expected. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
but yeah, no, for real. I mean, like, and even in the basic way, like I saw CSE put in the comments, like Grace Jones did it better. Grace Jones, uh, walking in the rain, like that whole song was literally about being non-binary, like literally, like literally. And this is in the '80s when um, you know Billy Porter was trying to figure out who he was, you know, um, in his twenties. <laughs> so it's just like wow. Um, that yeah, even on a basic level, Billy Porter ain't done and ain't done nothing still, right? He's 10 years too late for the it gets better game. He's he's late, he's late, he's late, but he wants his flowers, but he's too late. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is ridiculousness. Um, and you know, even if Pose uh pushes him up a little more, it's gonna push him up that much higher, not to Vogue. Mm -hmm. So, man, too bad for you, Billy, Billy Porter. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, <laughs> keep on donating. Keep on donating to the chapter. We are raising money to Black Hammer Shy on Cash <laughs> App. <laughs> yeah, exactly, CIC. This was exactly the song that I was talking about. Yes! <laughs> we Wait, I'm so done we with the spelling. I'm so done with the spelling. Oh. <laughs> um, yes, no, that's the song we were, we were both singing. We were singing it. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's like the song from her. Not coming. Oh, wow. Wait, go. Oh man, I forgot the words already. And our whole house <laughs> is Ren and Oju jamming about something, and G and I like. <laughs> I don't know this song. They're a little detached from the the late later millennial yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You old. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. I said I was old. There's no ageism. Yeah, it's no ageism. I'm just yeah, older, and here. we don't know. Yeah, no stuff. We don't know states. <laughs> yeah, no, that too. Like, I didn't grow up here, so I don't know. Yeah. I basically didn't grow up here. So. <laughs> well, keep donating, y'all. Black Hammer Shine Cash App. We appreciate everything that people have done. Uh, you know, it's uh, oh, they got another 10. Another $10 for the chapter. Thank you so much. Yeah, and like those $10 to go to like the little kids that who need the smaller masks, right? Yes. Yeah. We give those out too. Um, and you know, we, we've been getting people's contacts like, hey, you know, we also do. You know, mass drop offs too. Like, so, you know, make sure that you're donating so that we can, you know, ship those out to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chin got $10 too. Thank uh, you. For G's food fund. <laughs> $5 for your food fund, $5 for the chat. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what yeah. Don't go overboard now. It's what? Like the I know, you're 50 50 split though. That's crazy. Let's look at 70 20. You know, 70 80, 20. 80, you know, 70, I can't even be mad. I said 70 20, y'all. Why is it another 10%? I'll do it. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, let's see. I think we have I think we have one more topic. Okay, let's see. Let's Shares see. are appreciated. Oh, yeah. Keep are. sharing, y'all. Keep, keep sharing. Maryland County wants Vanessa Bryant and the other plaintiffs in the lawsuit over leaked photos to take psychiatric exams. Bryant claims fire and sheriff's department employees inappropriately circulated graphic pictures from the helicopter crash site where Lakers star Kobe Bryant and eight others were killed. The county argues independent medical examiners are necessary, examinations are necessary to determine whether the plaintiff's emotional distress was caused by the photo leak or the crash itself. The plaintiff's attorneys are arguing against the exams. A hearing is scheduled for November 5th. Mm -hmm. All right, wow. wow. So, yeah, so, you know, Vanessa Bryant is uh, late Kobe Bryant's wife, right? Um, and, you know, Vanessa Bryant lost him and her daughter, right, on that helicopter crash last year. And uh, if y'all remember, there was uh, photos from the, the crash scene that got leaked by somebody. And I think that I think they found out who that person was, right? But um, ever since the crash, you know, uh, the Bryant family, you know, has been uh, and all the other families affected by the crash as well, been trying to sue the helicopter company and the people who had put the leaked the photos and everything, right? And so, uh, they're, so yeah, right now they're in the process of like trying to stop the lawsuit, like prosecutors trying to stop this lawsuit in LA, saying that yeah, she can't, they can't move on until they all get psychologically evaluated. Um, which is like, uh, you know, there's the part where like, okay, of course, like they got a lot of money already, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they do have a lot, a lot of money, uh, you know, in general. Um, enough of, you know, like Vanessa Bryant's mom was even trying to sue her daughter, um, you know, during all of this, right? To get money. Like there's so much stuff with the money and a lot of times with like, you know, petty bourgeois people like that, those money fights, they're just like, ugh, right? Um, 
But it's just like, again, white people probably had this process a lot easier, you know? Like, mm-hmm. and again, psychologists, people still got to, like, like, get psychologically evaluated to see if we're sad because of, like, you know, stuff that happens here. But well, I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just wild. You told me about the comment that that's like slightly common, right? Like, needing, like, evaluation sometimes if like, there's, like, the stress involved. I mean, yeah, people who are getting sued will do anything to not pay, you know? Mm-hmm. Um so, like, yeah, psych evals are very common in any case that has to do with trauma because you have to prove that you're traumatized mm-hmm. and you have to prove the reason why you're traumatized. Um, which, like, okay, no, sorry. <laughs> um, if your husband and child dies, you're traumatized. <laughs> if you see pictures from it, you're traumatized. Like, it does not take a PhD mm-hmm. to determine that. That's basic human nature. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just so freaking ridiculous that they, like, first of all, that they would do this to anybody, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and like you said, when it comes to being a colonized family, they are going to make them jump through hoops, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's that end on like the helicopter insurance side. Like they're just monsters that are, don't want to pay. Yeah. They have the money to settle. Mm-hmm. They have the money. They literally budget, like companies budget in, like they, their big budget includes settlements, includes mm-hmm. lawsuits. Like they have the money. Um, they're just monsters who don't want to pay for their mistakes. Um, and then on the flip side, <laughs> they have petty boot. You know, like there's that into where it's like, do you need the money? Right. And it's like, okay, well, you want to make sure that they pay or whatever. Like mm-hmm. that nothing happens. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. like make sure that they're held accountable. It's like, but they're giving you pennies anyway. Like it, they, they don't care about, they don't care. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, ugh, it's a lot. It's disgusting all around. Um, obviously no one deserves to die like that. You know, like that's no, well, no one's going to take that away. Like, we're not arguing that, like, oh, they deserve it. Of course not. Of course not. They're humans. And, like, this has been traumatic for them, right? Like, losing family like that. And then being forced to see the pictures because someone was, like, negligent or just, like. And you know that perp- wasn't a comment. Yeah, person. like, purposefully, like, mm-hmm. just evil. Like, that's awful. Mm-hmm. And, like, it is disgusting that they want them to prove it. Like, that's. It's just it's so. God, I'm such a, so sick of this whole system. Yeah. Because, like, what kind of like what's gonna happen anyway yeah. mm-hmm. they win the okay let's say like uh vanessa bryan wins lawsuit what happens then yeah mm-hmm. yeah she exactly. got more money and her loved ones are still dead mm-hmm. yeah yeah exactly no and like and i always you know i think about it too like you know this is what happens to like petty bourgeois comments people right imagine poor working class comments people like, you know like, or not imagine it's you right having to constantly prove everything that you have to go through every day yeah. under colonialism, under this system, um, in order to like get something in return, right? Mm-hmm. Like how much people have to like beg and humiliate themselves for food stamps. How much mm-hmm. people have to beg and humiliate themselves for any kind of welfare. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's, just, it's just like, you know, of course like people, you know, want to make sure that the Bryant family is all taken care of, you know, but there's like millions of kind people who still have to prove themselves every day and what they're going through, mm-hmm. you know, and, and for way less, any settlement that you might get, the riots might get, you know? Um, what do you think about this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, it, really, it reminds me of, like, you know, what you just said, like, my my own experience of having to, like, do, do that same type of thing of, like, oh, like, here's proof of what I've been through. Um, like, that type of, it, 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 that in itself is, like, re-traumatize, you have to re-traumatize yourself to do that, like, because you're reliving whatever you're explaining to the person or to mm-hmm. the thing in that case, right? So, like, to do that to anybody, like, especially poor working class colonized people, like, that are already, like, whatever, like, in my case, right, um, you know, I was applying to colleges, or th- that was one thing, like, they, for colleges, like, they always, if you want any kind of, like, you know, help or anything like that, they're like, oh, tell me some kind of sob story, tell me how you, like, you know, overcame some type of thing, and if you're, you know, you have, if you're a colonized person, like, you have a lot of those. Um, so, you know, you can share however much you want, but if it's a good essay, like you're going to, you can, you know, write about something pretty personal. So doing something like that, like once again, pretty tra- like really exposing that over and over again for each essay, right, is traumatizing itself. Or, um, you know, I was, you know, going through uh, like uh, college or whatever and mental, like I had to take a mental health break because it was literally like me becoming a zombie. Um, and, you know, um, to get that mental health break, I had to get a psyche valve. <laughs> exactly what they said, like a psyche valve. And 
um, you know, basically get like read, like whatever, uh, an evaluation that would show like how much, you know, how depressed I was or how whatever I was. Um, and it was just, yeah, like that stuff is so disgusting. It's, it's really disgusting. And kids do have to do that too, even just to get basic help um, at their schools. Like, um, you know, like little, little kids, um, yeah. just to, just to get counselors, therapists, like just to even get to a therapist, they have to get a psych eval. So, um, sometimes so that's considering anyone even believes them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's considering yeah. the process has started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this, this system, I mean, yeah, like this, you know, pet, like these petty boos, whatever, but like, just, this is like a small example of like what happens, you know, to um poor working class colonized people you know and they're probably gonna, either way they're gonna have money they're gonna be fine so whatever yeah you know? and, and like the thing is is that you know even not for even for like um poor working class colonized people like they see all these cases and like the colony teaches you that like the solution to all this to like the problems they get is to like sue get money or get something out of it you know when like in reality like it should really just be like collective healing, you know, it, it should like, the colony has like not, um, has, has taken us away from what truly like healing from trauma looks like. Mm -hmm. Um, and just putting all of these like fake overly complicated systems, like trying to get money from someone else. Um, when like, you know, in, in, in this world that we're trying to build, you know, like it's, it's going to be all about that collective healing. It's going to be, um, all about the accountability, the criticism, the self-criticism, you know, like, mm -hmm. even if something was accidental like that, you know, yeah. um, it, it's all about the collective and not about being an individual uh, and, like, mm -hmm. getting into your own bubble of being depressed or whatever, right? Like, um, as kind of people, as, like, we, our people were living in, in a collective, right? Like, they weren't trying to seduce anyone back in the day, you know, they were, they were trying to, like, heal collectively, heal mm -hmm. where their ancestors, heal where their people. Um, so that's what we're trying to build, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like a, a world where, you know, revolution brings us closer to solutions that help us solve our problems, right? Like revolution is, is the solution, right? Yeah. <laughs> in, in every yeah. aspect. <laughs> yeah, in every <laughs> aspect, because, you know, people are going to think, oh, get your bag, get, you know, get, get, get what's owed to you. It's not what's owed to you as a single person, right? As an individual, it's get what's owed to us, right? And what's owed to us is more than just the settlement of a lawsuit. Um, it's more than reparations. Reparations is one part of it, right? Uh, what's owed to us is our liberation. What's owed to us is dictatorship over our lives, over our labor, land, and resources. Um, what's owed to us is our leadership, right? Um, in, in our own lives. And so, you know, instead of like focusing on getting just yours, let's get ours instead, all right? Um, and, you know, Vanessa Bryan, um, you gotta learn that, right? Because, you know, of course, like there's that, right? But what, I'm just imagining all the other like colonized children who like lose their fathers, you know, and their siblings in like other horrible ways too, right? Like, why can't they get theirs too, you know? And like, it, and like that, we have to think about that, um, and we have to, and, that, and we do that by carrying out revolution, right? So, mm, yes. So someone quote that. <laughs> someone quote that. <laughs> someone to transcribe that. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, uh, last call for donations. Make sure donate cash up. Black Hammer Shy mm -hmm. holds five hundred dollars. Thank you again for everyone who's donated. Uh, if you ain't shared, at least uh, I mean, if you ain't donated, at least share. All right. Mm -hmm. So share this uh, live um, on YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media platforms. All right, y'all. Yeah, and make sure you're sharing at least your age. Oh yeah, at least your age, right? <laughs> Um, share if you are um, a millennial, you know how many times, if you're Gen Z, you know how many times. Honestly, I don't yeah. know the breakdowns for those. I'm a nerd. So I just I, hear I those and I'm like, sure. <laughs> yeah, they're all colonial breakdowns. They ain't, they ain't nothing care. to do with us, just how people spend their money. It's, it, it, it ain't got nothing to do with us. <laughs> but yeah, keep on donating, y'all. Uh, but yeah, we can get into some announcements. Let, let's see. So tomorrow we have our Tuesday rally. The theme is Revolution is the Only Solution. It's going to be another screening of the Revolutionary Church that our Atlanta chapter is doing on the ground. So make sure you're in there, 7 p.m. Eastern time, tomorrow, Tuesday, on Zoom. You can come join us at tinyurl.com slash church 
number four, Hammers, Church for Hammers. All right? So come in, join us at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. And then next, we got the Revolutionary Book Trap. Oh, I'm glad I can. I know what it is because it's hard to see. Uh, Revolutionary Book Trap uh, next Sunday, October 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We're reading chapters 13 and 14 of Unity and Struggle by Amirka Cabral. So much packed and so few chapters already. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot. You got, he literally writes everything you need for revolution right there. Salud. Uh, and so make sure you're there. You can get the book at blackcamera.org slash library, right? To follow along. Mm -hmm. And then next we have our Fraud Fauci Fridays, right? <laughs> Salud. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> you. Um, so every Friday at 5 p.m. local time, you can go to your local city, probably got a protest. We have our, a list of it online. Join our Facebook group, March on the CDC. And there you can get any details you need about Fraud Fauci Fridays uh, and, any, and all of our protests all over the country, all right? Mm -hmm. So make sure you join us. We'll be here in Chicago doing it, Atlanta doing it, all over. Yeah. So and if, sure you, if you believe that, you know, this um, healthcare system isn't built for us, then make sure you're all coming out because that's basically what this is about. It's like how, you know, not just the CDC, but the FDA, they don't know what they're doing and they, don't, they have no right to be shoving this um, vacuum down our throats, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I know, it's like shoving the vacuum. Shoving the vacuum down our throat, there's a whole other level to vacuum there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> I was like, baby? <laughs> I was like, what you into? No, um, <laughs> all right, and, uh, and uh, what's our last thing out to? We got one more, right, I think. Uh, oh, I know, uh, yes, you wanna talk about that NPA? Yeah, yeah, no, so um, let me recover for a second. My <laughs> face is a little bit blushed. But yeah, no, uh, Rebuild NOLA, um, we already went out once uh, within 24 hours of the hurricane hitting, Hurricane Ida. Um, it's been about a month since we've been, and we're looking to go again um, in this time at the beginning of November. So in order for us to make sure that we're serving the masses even better and more organized and more um, you know, with more materials, right? Because it's been a whole month. Like, we want to make sure that they have as many things and as many resources as they, as they need um, so that, you know, they can build their own system, their own chapter there so that they can actually, you know, uh, help take care of each other, right? Um, and so, you know, by donating, you're making sure that not only are they getting the resources, but they're, we're going to be going to give them trainings um, and things like that as well. So make sure y'all are donating. You're making a just that we're badass. Yes. Um, like again, like this is um this is step one, right? To how we um respond to natural events. Um and it's just it's step one to what we can do for each other, right? Because like it's not it's not a charity, like we're not we're not going there like, oh we helped you. Yay. Mm -hmm. You know, like we're we're gonna go and, and build self-determination with the people of Southern Louisiana so that they can continue to building like for their community. Um and that's honestly priceless, right? Like bringing revolution, bringing self-determination, bringing hope to the masses of poor working class colonized people is how we're going to get free. Like having them yes. fall under leadership of the revolution, like that's how we get free, right? Mm. That's how we copy Haiti. That's how we, that's how we follow Bolivia, right? That's how we follow Cuba, China, Vietnam. Like that's what we're doing. Like nothing short of liberation is good enough. Um, and that's, this is, this is one step towards that. And Honestly, anything, a dollar and 50 cents, supplies, like, you're building towards that, too. So just, it's just, it cannot be overstated how important this is. Um, yeah. Yeah, land back. Yeah, someone quote that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone quote that, land back. And also, we just dropped a documentary for Nola. So uh, if you go to YouTube.com slash Black TV, the channel you're watching this on right now, uh, we have a short a documentary short about our time in NOLA, right? So check it out. See the people that we met. See the work that got done. It's all laid out there, right there for you, all right? Oh, but, oh yeah, you gotta watch it. Watch it. It's good. It's good, y'all. <laughs> so yes, that's the Vanguard today. That's all our topics. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for you know joining us on this Revolutionary Monday. And uh, oh, we didn't come up. We were gonna come up with like another phrase, but we, we we should still do. You know, we should try it again, right? I don't know. Uh, 
We didn't rehearse it. We didn't rehearse it. Yeah, we, 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 we tried singing all at the same time once. It didn't work. There's only, there's only one CAC. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We got to come up with our own. Yeah. yeah. What if we did the Hillary Duff? Uh, <laughs> no, we're not going to do the Hillary Duff. <laughs> no, That's no. just y'all. <laughs> That's well, right. Well, you think it's coming down. <laughs> right, but, yo, y'all, well, so check that melon in. Check that melon in on yourself. Join the revolution. Blackcamera.org slash join. All right? And we'll see you. Uh, for the Vanguard next Monday, all right? Yeah. I am back. I'm back, y'all.